Welcome back, everyone. I'm Larry Ross, and along with Lewis Johnson, you're watching the belt class of the world's best and richest track meet every year. Don't go anywhere. You sound very intelligent at parties and cocktails. When you talk track and field Olympic Games, if you watch these Golden League meets, there you see the world record, the belt class of meet, set by Sam Tate, who it seems like he's been around longer, and he is still competing here at the age of 32. There you see Felix Sanchez from the Dominican Republic, the NCAA champion from Southern California, is competing. He will be in lane one from Saudi Arabia. Al Somali is is Arejo from Brazil, the Brazilian national champion and the South American record holder, is in three. And there's a guy. Way, Lewis. And he told me that he likes to stand backwards to focus his attention on his race and not to see anything else before he turns around and gets in the block. Llewellyn Herbert of South Africa. This Angelo Taylor may be the co-favorite for the Olympic title, and he talks to us about the difficulty getting to the Olympic trials. Not advancing the World Championship was on my mind. Um, and coming in this year, I said uh, I wasn't taking any prisoners. I'm going to make it through each round, run a uh, nice, smooth race, a smart race, and make it safely through each round. And uh, I did that, and now I'm an Olympian. And, uh, it's something I dream have dreamed of since '96, and um, and I'm just happy to be an Olympian now. And Angelo Taylor assures me that not advancing out of the first round in Seville will never happen again. He's more focused now in every race. I like his chances best at the Olympic gold, Lewis, because of his raw speed. And here's a man who's been right on his tail all year. This is Eric Thomas for the United States, who has broken 48 seconds. Only Herbert, Taylor, and Thomas have done it. This is Mar Marcel Schelbert from Switzerland, who will be on in seven. He's a Swiss record holder, and everybody goes nuts for him. They love this guy. He is also looking for an Olympic qualifying time to make it to Sydney. This country has done a great deal to have good quality track and field athletes in there because the population is only 7.2 million. Sam Atete from Zambia, the 1996 Olympic silver medalist on the outside. A great field here at 400 hurdles, and technique is everything. Trying to control your emotions will be tough in a stadium like this tonight. The athletes for the first seven hurdles will run about 13 strides, does, and they shift then to 14 strides. Angelo Taylor is out well in lane five. He reminds me of Edwin Moses, the way he attacks the hurdles. Thomas on the outside. Herbert running back in the pack slightly right now. Thomas. Taylor on his inside. Here comes Herbert closing around the turn as they head for straightaway. They're practically all even. Llewellyn Herbert with a slight lead right now. It's Herbert. It's still Llewellyn Herbert. It's Herbert and Taylor. Taylor at the wire out leads Llewellyn Herbert, the silver medalist at the World Championships in 97. They ran, I think, a smart race, saving themselves from powering down the straight. And Lou had a great close. His last 100 meters was phenomenal. And look how he takes the last hurdle. But Angelo Taylor takes advantage of the long strides and comes right along Llewellyn Herbert. And watch Herbert diving for the line. He tries to take the win on a dive, and he bites a little bit of the track. But Angelo Taylor went, and look at the effort that Herbert makes. So much of an effort that he falls to the track. He rolls well. Taylor has such blazing 400 meter speed, I think it gives him the edge in this distance. Lewis John after the race. It was a close one in the men's 400 meter hurdles. Angelo Taylor, you've got the Olympics sewn up, but you want to win here. It was very close to the end. Talk about the last hurdle. Well, uh, I had a little problem early on in the race. I used the 13 step, and um, I was real close up on the hurdles today. Uh, I hit the uh, fourth hurdle, I think it was. Um, threw off my, my momentum, and um, when I came home, I the last hurdle, I just had to give it all I had. Well, the crowd loved your performance. Great job tonight. At least two of the three Olympic medals may come from these three men here who just competed in the 400-meter hurdles in Zurich. When we come back, it'll be the women's 3,000 meters with American Regina Jacobs, Ireland's Sonia, and the great Gabriela Zabo at 3,000 meters.